Here in this video, I'm going to give a walkthrough of our new station offset staking feature. Uh, so what I've already done in this project is I've already imported a land XML alignment uh, to start, and we'll go into our staking uh, mode. And I'll set uh, to the stake line option. And if you hit on that drop down arrow, uh, just to get the extra options, uh, you'll see a station offset uh, selection there now. And the first thing uh, you're going to want to do is select the active alignment or project figure uh, that you're wanting to perform station offset staking to. Uh, so here on the left hand side on the panel is where you're going to want to select your active uh, project figure or alignment and you'll easily be able to identify that uh, using the icons on the panel there. Uh, so any project figures will show the line icon and any alignments will have road icon um, on the panel. Uh, with alignments you also have the option to constrain um, to a surface if you want to get some cut fill information. Uh, so you just would hit that drop down and if you did want to uh, get any uh, cut fill information and constrain it to a surface uh, you do have the option to select one there as long as the alignment is within uh, that surface area. Uh, but for this case I'm not going uh, to constrain it uh, since I'm going to be staking to offsets that are outside of uh, the surface. And up top uh, you'll see is uh, your station offset uh, configuration. Uh, so you hit the pencil icon now here's where you can come in and edit. Uh, so I do want to stake to station 25 and I'll leave my station interval at 10 and I'll stake it uh, with an offset of 1.5 meters. And I'll just hit OK. And now I am ready to stake uh, to station 25 uh, with an offset of 1.5 meters. So I'll just zoom in just so I can see myself a little bit better. And I already am pretty close to where I need to be. Uh, so I'll just make some small adjustments uh, just to put myself uh, within tolerance of where I need to put that stake and I'll just observe this measurement and I'll save that anyways and once you are ready to move on uh, to the next station uh, down below uh, you can just use uh, the plus button or if you needed to go the other direction uh, you can hit the minus option and that's to advance yourself uh, to the next station. Now, if you did need to increase um, your offset values, uh, you can also uh, do so uh, using uh, the, the left and right options on the offset uh, panel there. Uh, so that is just a quick uh, walkthrough of the new station offset uh, feature. Thanks for taking interest in this video.